So this question starts off by providing us with this equation here. It goes on to say the graph in the xy plane of the equation above is a circle. Okay, definitely good to know. Provide some context regarding this equation. What are the coordinates of the center of the circle? So the center of the circle. So if we know the equation for a circle, which I'll remind you of here, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. If you don't know that, please add that to your notes. Um, when you have this equation for a circle in this format, the center of the circle is just h comma k. So there would be our center. So our job is to convert this format here that was provided into this format here. So how do we do that? Well, we see that we have an x squared minus 10x. So how do I get that x squared minus 10x to somehow become the format of x minus h squared? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to have to use a process called completing the square. So I'm going to have to complete the square. So here's the process. The process starts off with what's been provided in terms of x. Let me just actually make some more room for myself and go down here. x squared minus 10x. Um, the second part of the process is to take half of the coefficient in front of x, which would be negative 5, right? So negative 10, half of that is negative 5. And then you square that term, which would give us 25. And then you add that square term to your other 2x terms, right? So I have plus 25 here. Now you also want to make sure you're balancing off, or so we're going to end up having a long equation here, right? So I'm going to balance that equation by the fact that, hey, I just added 25 on the left side of the equation, which was not there prior. I need to make sure I'm adding it to the right side as well. So I'm going to just put a plus 25 over here. Let's do the exact same thing for our y values. So starting off with what I had, y squared plus 6y. Half of the coefficient in front of y is 3. 3 squared equals 9. So I add 9 here, and I'm going to just you know add 9 there as well. So the original question also had a 2 on the right-hand side of the equation, so I'm going to just also put my 2 there as well. Okay, so now we've done the completing the square, at least this, this first part of that process. Now, again, our goal is to get this format. How do you, how do you factor the trinomial x squared minus 10x plus 25? Well, a shortcut to that will always be that it's the variable that you're focused on, so x, and half of the coefficient in front of the x, so minus 5, and squared. That's it. So the same thing with the y value, so the variable that we're focused on, y, and half of the coefficient in front of the y, so y plus 3, and squared. And then, of course, to add all this together, I'm going to have 2 plus 9 is 11, plus 25 is 36. So all of that is equal to 36. So now we have the structure we want, where h is equal to 5, right? Because x minus h, so h must be positive 5. And k is equal to negative 3. Why? Because, again, y minus k. So in order to get a y plus 3, that means k must be negative 3. So our center has to be 5, comma, negative 3. And therefore, our answer here is choice C.